What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Sal bringing you another competitive Team Fortress 2 match. This one in intermediate because all the invite stuff is already getting covered, and I figure you want something different. You want something new. So we're covering Runaway 5 versus the six cuties. I'm going to get that very, very terribly confused as the game goes on. The, the five cuties? The I, I don't even remember. There's there's some numbers. But anyway, no. Runaway 5 here. Uh, a team that I have casted several times before. Six cuties. Um... They may be a relatively new iteration of a team. It seems really quiet to me. Is it really quiet? Okay, well, I'm going to double the in-game sound, and we'll fix that. We've got Runaway 5, a team I've casted quite a lot, I was saying. Uh, especially with DJC, one of the world's greatest casters. And, uh, yes, there was some drama about that last week. We're not going to go too much into it. Basically, uh, mistakes were made, but I think they have been relatively atoned for, and... And I gotta tell you, as, as much as I was, like, getting really hacked off about it, when I think about it in retrospect, I'm like, you know, I probably would have done a lot of the same crap that they did, so. Can't really say too much. It looks like, uh, two losses right away, though, for the Runaway 5, and for some reason, things still were... Oh, you know why they sound quiet? I figured it out. I know why. I got it. Alright, hopefully that fixes it. Turns out I had actually turned down a lot of my in-game volume and stuff, so, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see as things go on here, whether, whether it works. Just let me know how you think the volumes are working out. If they're, if they're standard. But uh, no, Runaway 5 gave up this first point very, very quickly. In fact, that mid-fight was just, uh, they almost didn't even get there. And so their opponents, the six cuties in the red right now. <laughs> Actually, I love all the Fs on the end of their name. It only works on Puff, but, but that's okay. Puff, of course, I've casted him quite a lot, and I always call him one of the nicest guys I've met in TF2. Um, he's pretty cool. And he's a good demo man, so it's going to be cool to see him getting in here and laying down the sticks, laying down the damage. We'll see what he can manage to accomplish here, as right now Runaway 5 have already lost Scarlet, who, uh, she, just kidding, he, I was told I had to say she at least once, because Scarlet has the name. It kind of makes you think maybe it goes the other way, but no, it's, it's totally a dude. Anyway, uh, Scarlet was down, but it looks like the, uh... The six cuties have not really managed to take much advantage of the situation right now. Sheep out here, who is actually apparently downpour. This is it's, it's going to start getting really confusing in a second. But no, basically this is downpour. That's all you got to worry about. Um, looking to keep the scouts out, and finally gets taken down by use of who is probably use of toaster. I think I've seen him tagged up as that before. So yeah, um, you know names they change a lot, but you know some of these names may be familiar to you. If this is like your first game of watching TF2 though, then they won't be familiar at all, and that's okay. Uh, I'll try and. And contribute as much as I can in that regard. Right now, of course, Runaway 5 defending their last point. It's going to be tough for them to push out in this situation. Um, Sakura, the red med here, has his uber. And they want to push this in, but they are actually wasting just a little bit too much time. And so that means Overseer, their opposing medic, will have her uber ready to go uh, right now. Pretty much. So Runaway 5 should be able to defend this once again. This is Badlands, the bread and butter map, TF2. And it seems like the cuties finally want to get in there and show just why they are so cute. They want to win this match with a smile and, and little googly eyes. But it looks like Ricky jumped in there and decided to die. So it's not going to happen quite yet. Maybe he was trying to force an uber out of Overseer. Sadly, we missed that. And hopefully... Oh, interesting. We do have an uber coming out here. And that's going to force the uber to the red team. This is not always the best thing to do. But you know, uh, it looks like they caught the red team a little by surprise. And actually, it's working out really well for them. Because at the very least, all they did there was reset things. But... Um, there was actually a lot of upside potential there, and not a lot of downside risk. It was 6v5, so they were able to just leave a heavy sitting back on last, and if they'd actually gotten a kill or two, their whole team could have pushed out. So I do like the decision making there. We've got DJC here ready to, uh, start taking things out. Gotta be a little careful, though, backing off from that demo man, who's gonna start laying down some pretty sick damage, and if, if DJC had been bumped or pushed the wrong way by those sticky bombs, he could have died very fast. So, uh, managed to get up a tight spot there, and basically we're just gonna sit back on last and, uh, and watch as things play out once again. DJC building this uber as fast as he can, but once again, the red uber building so much faster, which is a little interesting to me, uh, because they both basically ubered at the same time. And in fact, I think red team ubered slightly later. Uh-oh! Overseer down, though. Once again, we're missing everything. Ricky jumped in there. We're going to have to find out exactly how he got in, because that's not an easy thing to do. All right, so we're going to watch as he invades eventually here. He's probably going to get a full 300 buff from his med. Yes? No? It looks like he wants it. He's like, med, come on, buff me up. Here we go. Okay. 300% or 300 health. He's going to jump in straight through the choke, actually. Nobody spotted him there, so it was too late. Gets right on top of the Overseer and the final rocket, destroying the Overseer at the same time as Ricky goes down. I wanted to use that slow motion to get the capture, and then it turns out he died, and it ruined everything. But that's okay. The Uber's going to come in now. That's going to be a lot of unreturnable damage. For the red team, they're able to use that invincibility to deal a lot. Uh, DJC is down, but actually, look at this. Most of the red team dying, and it's just uh, the med left alive, trying to get away here with 10% uber charge, using that little 1% speed buff that it translates to with that over uh, overdose. Yes, not overseer, but overdose. My words, they're hard sometimes, but uh, look at there. And actually able to get away, so it looks like 
Runaway 5, the blue team, more concerned with getting the point captured than chasing the med down, and that is the right call here as they have capped that second point and now can start playing a more normal, non-defensive game. Um, they still want to be a little careful about losing the second point, and, and their opponents could potentially push here with a bit of an uber advantage, but it's a better position because when you're on, you know, when you're on last point, you can very rarely afford to be aggressive, but now they can be as aggressive as they want, and they can go start dealing some damage to their opponents here who basically whiffed on their, their attempts on last there. Things can change very quickly in the world of TF2. We've got, of course, the middle point here with uh, Puff laying down pipe bombs all over the place. Incoming blue pipes not really managing to connect with much of anything, so a little bit of splash damage will be dealt there, but not a lot. And uh, blue team still, of course, situated right around these choke points. That's where everybody's aiming. But they're not hitting each other just yet. That's the benefit of having all these walls in between unit teams. And I gotta tell you, the silhouettes would make so much difference in this game. I really hope that gets developed because uh, as we've talked about on Fully Charged and other places, uh, somebody is working on this kind of project where, where we'll be able to see silhouettes through walls. I'm hoping that comes out relatively soon. Uh, a mini map would be really nice and, and these things can happen. Interesting little attack here by Ricky and Bronze. Both of them jumping in there and Ricky doing a ton of damage, taking down Scarlet and Zalox on the flank very quickly. Um, it does look like Zalox actually on Scout and I've seen him play Demo Man more, but Duatna, of course, an amazing demo, so they've got to have him on demo. Uh, we've got the Runaway 5 now potentially having to back away from that second point again as they lost two players. They did kill two, Auburn and use of use of whatever he's deciding to use that day. And this soldier is done for. He's trying to escape. You can see him running away with that uh, equal, well, the, the escape plan, which is that uh, split off from the equalizer. Um, you can see him running. Wow, how did that not hit Sheep? I don't even know, but Sheep apparently is just the uh, ninja master of dodging. And, uh, yep, still rockets flying all around him. He's just like, whatever, I'll stand here and cap point as the rest of the enemy team retreats right now. And, yes, they are retreating because they are down a man. They don't have the Uber. They can't really hold against a full six-man attack. They just didn't get enough damage done. So it was a good call, but uh, the problem is if, if they continue to be in a situation like that, where they can't get the damage done, then all the calls in the world will not save them from being pushed to their last point and eventually defeated. So, got to get the, uh, you know, the, the smarts they have. Now they've just got to get the damage output. And we'll see if the Runaway 5 can manage to uh, to do some damage here. Scarlet, of course, the Roaming Soldier. Uh, gonna, I think the Roaming Soldier anyway, because the pocket would have to be DJC. Uh, am I wrong? Am I wrong about this? No, DJC hanging out. So we're going to have Scarlet um, actually playing really close right now. Everybody for the Runway 5 is pretty much together except for one of the scouts probably on that flank. It looks like everybody's going to walk through this little uh, hallway here as well. And yes, there's that flank on, or, uh, flanking scout on the right-hand side. But yeah, everybody's coming down through here now. They are probably going to pop this Uber. Uh, I thought they were going to pop it through here. And it looks like they still want to. And actually, that was not a good pop at all. DJC down. So this is a big mistake for R5, and that means that as long as the red team here, the, the five cuties can capitalize on that, they should be able to push their opponents all the way back to last. Gotta be careful about this scout invading, but nice uber sauce by Sakura gets taken down anyway by Scarlet. That is too bad because that was a sick uber saw. Almost a moment of glory worthy kill there. It's just that everybody on the blue team knew, okay, our medic is down, the enemy medic is very hurt. So if we can just get into a little bit of damage, then that's gonna be basically saving the round. And that's what they did. You know, so that kind of resets things, but still, the red team should be able to very easily cap the second point, push their opponents to their last. And they just gotta watch out for invading soldiers and scouts, which actually looks like it's happening surprisingly right now. Um, a good recapture attempt here by the Runway 5. They managed to take their opponents by surprise. And so things are moving back and forth once again with the uh, 5 Cuties team. I keep... S there's, there's six... F oh, come on. Okay, hold up here. There are six Fs in their name. Why couldn't there be five Fs? Because then it would be like five cute little Fs and, and it would fit with the team name of the six... Wait, it's called the six cuties. Hold on here, because on their ESEA page it totally said five cuties. Okay, well it's six. Oh my god, no, I... Okay. Alright, this is embarrassing and you're just gonna pretend you never heard me talk about five cuties at all. That's because you, you didn't hear that. You just, you didn't hear it. Nothing happened and everything is fine and Salamancer is a good caster. And uh, that's, that's how we're going to be. Sakura retreating frantically here to their last point as the Runaway 5, the team with the actual 5 in their name that I totally got right, <laughs> is pushing in the last. Auburn down, that's the pocket soldier. And very quickly, the Runaway 5 may turn this into a round win. Um, I thought they were making mistakes. Oh, Sakura just barely getting on that point to defend it in time. But it doesn't matter as the Medic walks on. Overseer getting the final cap. A lot of chaos going on there. Uh, not least of which came from the caster himself being really bad at remembering the names of teams and uh, exactly what's going on there. So, <laughs> I feel so bad. Uh, Runway 5 winning around though. Looking really good there towards the end as they uh, 
as they press their opponents. They had to sit on their last point for a while, and they made a couple mistakes. And and uh, those mistakes kind of key in determining how this round almost went. But they, you know, the when they started to execute that one play after their opponents lost their med, that was when things really turned around for them. We'll see if they can make a similar thing happen this time around. Uh, looks like this time around, actually, they've won the mid fight. They lost pretty pretty handily last time. Still got to deal with one scout who is trying to retreat, but that is it. Their opponents are wiped out, and the Runaway 5 will capture the point here. No problem. And at this point, they are going to have an Uber now. That is 100% Uber, so they can pop that at any time they need. They shouldn't need to. That's one of the things you got to be really careful about, is that when you're capping the second point, uh, you want to leave your med in a very non-vulnerable position, and right now that is exactly what they're doing, I think. Uh, actually, sitting up here, but nobody can see her until they've got the point capped. They want to walk the med indoors, and they're going to do that upstairs, which is they're less likely to run into sticky traps up here, so it's a good idea. Maybe they did actually find one stick up there. I don't know. No, they're just checking. Because actually, in these little door frames, there's space where you can completely hide a sticky. But uh, this is exactly what you expect to see happen after one team crushingly wins a mid-fight. They push all the way to the enemy's last. They get the uber popped in. They've gotten one, two kills now. The pyro is down. Not able to get a lot accomplished there, except maybe blast the uber around a little bit. But uh, if this heavy can stay alive, no, can't stay alive. So Runaway 5 are going to make that one a really fast 2-0. to zero. That's just, uh, that's the high probability. After one team keeps their med alive in a mid, the other team completely wipes out. It's going to devolve into, you know, can we keep them out of our last point long enough to get an uber? And at this level of, you know, intermediate TF2, the answer is typically no. So uh, you gotta you gotta win these mid fights. Mid fights are extremely important, especially on a very very popular map like Badlands, where I mean teams just know this is how you play it. Uh, looks like do what now for the Runaway Five is already down, and losing your demo man that early is a big deal. You see Scarlet deciding, nope, we're backing out right now. Sakura here uh, leading the rest of his, or following the rest of his team. I keep saying leading, but really the meds don't do a lot of leading because if you do that, uh, you're probably gonna die a lot, and you don't want to die a lot as a med. That's uh, kind of. Priority one, Auburn though, with a sick air shot as I completely lose track of the plot. Uh, Auburn getting a nice shot there, didn't quite get the kills, but Scarlet is down. Did I just get a knock on my door? No, apparently I did not, so uh, don't worry about it. But Auburn, yeah, it was a nice air shot, didn't quite get the damage to kill someone, but I'm loving it, loving the skill here. Zalox down to a nice sticky trap from Puff. Auburn actually getting a kill on DJC down here, even though there was an Uber popped upstairs by the Runway 5. They're having to retreat furiously with this one, and uh, it may not be enough. Overseer going to get back into last, but there's only three players left alive. The crossbow not quite hitting the target there. Uh, looks like R5 are getting some good kills here, but it's not enough, and the six cuties walk into the point with the Demo Man. Finishing that one off, Puff, like, yeah, I can cat points, I'm a magical demo, no problem. Now, hang on, in Puff's name, we need to check this. Puff, does he have eight? Yes, he does, he has, totally has eight Fs there. Wait. Okay, it's, it's hard to even count. I'm pretty sure he does. This is, we're watching, of course, the typical demo man rollout on Badlands. Do what not? Getting there at the same time as Puff in the same door, that's, that's what you're gonna see. You've gotta get that Badlands rollout just right, and uh, occasionally throw in some, some changes. Uh, Auburn and Bronze both down right now, and if I were the f the six cuties, six of them, I would uh, I would retreat right now. Ricky not able to do that; he was in a bad position. But at least use of Toaster and Sakura are going to get away. They will probably have to defend their last point. They won't be able to defend that second point with just a scout and a medic. Uh, they do have some respawners here, but we are going to see the Runaway Five getting up here and capping DJC, starting things off here. As the rest of his team look to invade the lower lobby. And here they go. They'll be sitting in here for just a second as they get into a position to attack their opponents. Uh, Zalox waiting for the... So he was way behind their own lines, waiting for the respawn to change. Because, of course, as you cap these points, you get more and more forward to spawn. Uh, just to get closer to your opponent's last point and keep the game moving along. Overseer healing invisible teammates, and I have continued to have this problem. I don't know what is causing it. Uh, it could be like a direct X or graphics issue or whatever. I don't know. But uh, they're invisible, and it kind of sucks. Now, at this point... It's Uber versus Uber, and that's not always a good position for the attacking team because the defending team has all the time in the world to set up like a heavy weapons guy, a sniper, all kinds of stuff that's just going to be huge walls of HP to try and deal with. Uh, interesting, in comes the Uber though, so they are going to go ahead and try to make things happen. Uh, can they focus players and get the kills fast enough? No, Bronze still alive. Going to take down Sheep, no problem, who is actually downpour, I think? Right, yes, that's what I said earlier. That is totally downpour. I hope I'm not being trolled, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Ricky's starting to jump out here and wants to deal some damage. The uh, six cuties are looking for the kills, in fact, instead of looking for the caps. They just want to try and destroy their opponents here, and that's not going to work out for too well for them, as right now they've gotten the med, but there are 
four potential invaders that could come in here. They've got to deal with a heavy weapons guy, though, and actually, it looks like there's going to be a decent defense here from the six cuties, so no problem for now. Puff laying down the sticks on the point, just to make sure nobody can get in there and get a quick cap without being punished. Punished profusely. And Bronze staying in a nice position here as a heavy. He is not going to be prone to headshots or anything like that. Uh, but once enemies actually commit to an attack, then he can peek out and say, Hello! I was here the whole time, and now you have to deal with 450 HP of me while I've got a gun spun up in your face. And uh, it's not a pretty position to be in. So downpour here, just kind of waiting it out. Uh, they've got to wait for an Uber. You really can't make a 6v6 push without an Uber unless you are just ridiculous. Uh, the one thing you can do, though, is, well, you know what? I, I just said, you know what? Maybe the five cuties are totally ridiculous. Actually, they are! They're using the crit squeak! Are you joking? Oh my god, this is a ridiculous uh, a attack play here. Destroyed four of the six players in the runway five. In comes the Uber. Is this going to be enough for this team? They're getting on the point right now, but I don't think it's going to be enough at all. Uh, a really, really well-played Uber here, though. DJC able to do a lot of damage, but he's starting to run out of loaded ammunition, and that is the problem. You're just not going to be able to kill enough players with that, and that means Overseer and DJC, they made a valiant attempt, but they were not able to get the capture. The one thing they did there, which I think is really, really good for them, is they kept the six cuties on their last point. If they hadn't, you know, if they had just kind of tried to retreat with their Uber, then they would have given up that second point. And so it was an interesting gamble to say, no, no, you know what, let's just push in here, let's push ahead and make sure that we can uh, we can at least keep them in their last point and get another opportunity to go push in there. Now, uh, we are going to see, hang on here, we are going to see some uh, some interesting aggression as the Chris Krieger is ready once again. Let's watch from the Puff Cam as he starts to launch the sticks. He's trying to lay them down at that sticky, the, the choke, I mean, and now he realizes he's not going to get away with a lot of damage, so he's just going to have have to uh, do his best at boxing out his opponents there with the crits until it's all said and done. Runaway 5, now we're going to have an interesting position. They've got the Uber, which means total invulnerability. Their opponents have the crits Krieg, and they aren't going to have it fast enough to take out the Overseer. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to, uh, not Scarlet, but DJC, because he is going to be the one to take this Uber, I think, and just ram it into his opponent's faces and be like, hey guys, uh, we don't appreciate you and your Kritzkrieg. And no, his opponents realize that they're actually backing up all the way into spawn. No, sorry, not spawn, into their lobby. Uh, they've only got one player up here defending right now, and he is going to jump in, try to do the damage. Missing the air shots there is DJC, and that means, yes, uh, the Uber has been forced for the Runaway 5. They'll use that to try and regain positioning. Interesting attempt at a crits, but it was shut down very quickly. Good play here by Runaway 5, and they are going to go straight to last as their opponents only have two players left alive. It is just the two scouts. Overseer getting in here, uh, trying to lay down the law with the crossbow, and it doesn't even matter. That's going to be halftime. Three to one so far for the Runaway 5. Uh, things are looking pretty good for our 5 right now, but we'll talk about that more in just a second. Okay. Matches live in the second half. We're going to watch the Puff Cam on the rollout. And, uh, yeah, the Runaway 5 look like a really good team. They have played together for, I think, multiple seasons in various forms. Um, they have transformed into one of those I Am Juggernauts this season, it would seem like. I haven't checked their record yet, actually, so maybe I shouldn't call them a Juggernaut until I actually see whether they are winning or losing or making the playoffs or whatever. But they look good in this game. Um, but they've lost the Overseer, and right now, remember, the teams have, of course, swapped. So the blue team is the six cuties, and you do see Puff taking some damage, but uh, they have actually gotten a pretty decent win this mid-fight, as long as they can keep up the momentum. Bronze doesn't want to go down right now. He's got very low health, but looks like the pistol shots of his opposing scout mostly missed there. And so Bronze is able to stay alive. Now, he spotted a scout downstairs, I think, and he wants to know where that scout is going. Uh, or maybe I'm wrong, and maybe he just spotted a dead body. That could have been it. Um, and in fact, most competitive players turn off those ragdolls, so they can't even see dead bodies. It's not a, not a distraction for them at all. It really, uh, the issue is just FPS. They're trying to get the maximum FPS this game can provide. So there are configs out there for that. It's not a it's not a natural thing for TF2. Uh, there's not a lot of graphical variability coded into it like you would get out of StarCraft. Oh, nice sticky trap by Duwatna. So that is going to save the Runaway 5 from having a, a, a total destruction... Uh, uh, depressing defeat right here on their last point. Because remember, they do once again have a significant uber disadvantage. And uh, Sakura going to go ahead and walk in here. You saw the uh, sticky trap detonated, but it was far too late for that. No damage going to get done there. DJC is down. And I do think we're going to see... Uh-oh. Actually, we're going to see Puff and Yusuf Toaster get taken out here as the uber is almost ready to go for Overseer. So... I, I thought that the cuties were going to get this capture, and they will. For some reason, nobody able to stop that point quite yet. They thought the heavy was going to take care of it, but he was just a little bit too slow. His legs could not get him the point and so that is going to be another point for the six cuties there are totally six of them and three to two ladies and gentlemen and things are getting closed up once again um the cuties i mean i tell you 
when they look good, they look good. They won a mid fight and they translated that very quickly into a last point win. So able to, I guess, take advantage of a good situation. Uh, now this time around, they've lost use of Toaster first. They've got some pressure on Duwatna and the Med. Can they finish it off though? No, Scout, uh, that's downpour rushing straight in here. Duwatna with a nice shot on uh, Bronze and that's gonna get finished off by DJC with some splash damage from the Rocket. We do have Zalox finishing off Ricky, and that's all she wrote. Puff is the only one left alive. Well, he and Sakura are, are retreating. I've, I keep saying furiously, but frantically is probably a better word here. Uh, but now actually pushing right back out? I don't know what the deal with that was. Maybe Puff thought he saw somebody who was really damaged. Maybe just trying to do some damage to uh, the med, the demo man, something. But really wasn't getting any kills there. And now Puff laying down some sticks on the point. He's also got this trap up here that we saw him lay. We'll see if anybody actually walks in that way. Usually nobody does. That's a very dangerous alleyway to go in and so Puff's not going to get away with a lot of that. Uh, now let's check out use of, because he's got the sniper hat on right now. And this can get a little interesting if he sees somebody here and they don't see him, but no, actually the scout does spot the sniper. So uh, use of Toaster not able to get the shots off there that he wanted and he's probably just going to go change classes now. If I were him, that's what I'd do. Uh, no, he's rotating, so he is going to stay on the sniper. But the, the one thing about the sniper is that he's a very, very... Um, high damage, low HP class, and so he relies a lot on surprise in this game mode. If your enemies know you have a sniper, it's going to be a lot harder to deal with. Sakura down right now. Scarlet walking on that point and putting a lot of time on it, and there you go. That's going to be another point for the Runaway 5, making things look really easy here. Finally, uh, this this could be our last round. Remember that it's 4-2, to two and you play to 5, so... The cuties need to do something pretty important here. Duwatna getting out, and we'll see if the Runaway 5 can actually win this mid-fight. Because if they do, it seems so far like if you win the mid-fight, you typically win the round. Um, R5 might be the only team so far who have lost a mid-fight and then come back to win a round. It's, that's my impression, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, these things happen a lot. R5 losing a couple players here, but they're getting a couple of nice kills as well. It's just that they are 3 against 4 at the moment with Puff starting to reload here and wants to... Uh, Wants to sick his sticks on his opponents. Not able to quite finish off Downpour. Downpour and Overseer will be retreating, but there you go. That is going to be the Cuties winning a mid-fight. And we have seen them translate these mid-fight wins into round wins, especially with a big uber advantage like they have right now. Sakura running the uh, the regular old Medigun for a regular old uber. And Sakura, I know him, by the way, from... Uh, particularly from XTV. He used to be one of our big scheduling guys. Ricky on the sniper right now, an offensive sniper, which is interesting. Um, but it can be very really effective for taking down the enemy med or getting that all-important pick to allow your team to advance. But if you're not getting the picks as a sniper, then there's basically no point to being a sniper at all. You have to get those kills because otherwise uh, you would be better served just playing as a scout and watching the flank. Uh, it's, it's a risky play. It always is when you're not using the the uh, standard classes for the position. The only time when a sniper is like not a risky play at all is maybe like uh, attacking on gravel pit or something. Uh, Ubers are already in right now and, and you do see the sniper is really far out of there. Sakura having to retreat right now and uh, abandoning Auburn. So that's not going to be a good thing. Where is our sniper? Ricky is basically playing really, really far back because it's a very odd thing to do. And I'm not sure that I like it at all. Uh, we do... I think they've noticed that the sniper is here. Going for the shot on Overseer. Not going to hit it just yet. And Ricky, if you can't hit this shot, then that is basically useless on the sniper. Sadly, uh, there was maybe some miscommunication going on here, and Ricky just was not able to contribute to the team there at all in that case. Uh, I have seen snipers be very effective, but in this particular game, especially on, on Badlands, where the, the play styles of you know, soldiers and scouts and demos are so locked in and so studied, um, snipers not always the best choice. In that case, definitely didn't work out for them. Puff and Bronze both down. Scarlet jumping in and getting a nice shot on Auburn to take him down as well, and so that means the Runaway 5 are easily going to cap the midpoint. Um, Ubers are just about even, but Sakura has to retreat, and they don't want to pop this Uber in a 3v6 situation. Um, yes, you can keep your players alive for the moment, but then what do you do when the Uber is over and your opponent's Uber is over, and you still got 3v6? Then you're suddenly like, oh, we're going to die now. So, no, you definitely don't want to pop this until you've got like a, a you know, numerical parity or superiority, and uh, I don't think I see that just yet. Ricky getting taken down, but Scarlet in exchange, it's not too bad. You're going to see Sakura try to get indoors, but oh no, this is not a good position for a medic to be in. Getting popped up into the air at the worst possible time, trying to get through that shutter door, and it will just not happen. So everybody is down for the cuties right now. The Runaway 5 look like they are putting this game in the bag. 
They're, uh, they're tying it up with one of those twisty ties, and they're just saying, no, take this out to the trash. This game, it's over. The Runaway Five are about to win. They're on the point right now. Just need to lay down a little bit more damage on these two defenders. And that is going to be, is that a double kill with a single shotgun? Maybe not. But you know what? Regardless, a good game by the Runaway Five. We do see the uh, six cuties. Six of them. <laughs> I'm such a moron. Uh, losing that one, five to two. But you know... Congrats to both teams. Looking really solid here in Intermediate. And and I got to say, the top teams in Intermediate are always fun to watch. Let me see what these guys' records are. What is your record, ladies and gentlemen? Because uh, this, is, this is pretty important. In fact, I'm looking at it right now. The Runaway 5 has a record of one, two, one, two, only three losses throughout the season. So, you know, these guys might be among the contenders to be promoted to invite next season. Let me, uh, let me take a look at the stats, which, by the way, you can, you can look at the, uh, the stats and the division standings and all that on the ESEA website. They have a website of their own. Oh, I just clicked Counter-Strike. No, no, TF2. There we go. Um, Runaway 5 are currently situated in fourth place, and their opponents they just played against... Um, were down in 13th with a actually with a six and eight record. So that was a bit of a, a bit of a mismatch in the records. Interesting. Uh, that's kind of too bad for the six cuties, but was a good game nonetheless. And we got to see them doing some awesome stuff. So uh, do stay tuned here to Sal TV. Uh, you know, bring things up to me in the future that you want to see. I'm sorry I haven't been casting a lot, of course, because uh, I've been super busy with like real life stuff and class and work and social things and everything that you would expect uh, a mid 20s guy to be engaging in but you know i, I want to bring you the thing i most enjoy and that is tf2 competitive so do stay tuned do subscribe